Hello, welcome back. Uh, we have a five mask here uh, on a Beast Mastery Hunter. Uh, it has switched to Stormwind. Uh, I understand uh, Stormwind is significantly harder, especially Illyria gives the last people uh, a lot of trouble, myself included. Um, so I'll talk about some techniques. Uh, this will be a Beast Mastery Hunter focused um, run, of course, but a lot of the things I say should apply uh, across the classes. I'm running Vision, Breath, Unbound Force and Lucid Dreams. Um, my talents, I'm running. You can read these quick, you can pause the video if you need to. I'm not going to go over them. Um, you do have some options, so binding shots also viable. Uh, neither here nor there. Uh, this is more uh, a horrific vision focus, but those are the talents I'm running. I'm currently 458 equipped, running only 7 corruption. Uh, pretty much all of it, except for my bow, um, is a uh, critical strike from all sources. I believe that's severe. Anyway, uh, I have my five masks on. I need some crit food here. Uh, I'm going to use an augment room and a flask here. And uh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Uh, I want to start off mounted so I can pull the first couple mobs together. Excuse me. My pet's taunting. It's harder to pull them where you want them to go. So I'm going to use my body to do that instead. Uh, I am going to be popping two trinkets almost on cooldown. My trinkets are the writhing segment of Drestagath, which is. Oh, I should have interrupted that. Uh, which is a hilarious melee <laughs> trinket, but it is all I have. Um, so let's run and run it. Uh, it's okay, you can easily get it to me. The other one is Lustrous Luster, Golden Finch. I will be popping those a lot. Very useful. I should be interrupting those. Um, I can either I use target a, something uh, first. I'll tighten this up. I'll, I can use a, either use a manual interrupt, excuse me, uh, which is counter shot, or I can also use a, a stun intimidation. So I see the purple. It's a bad liquid. I'm gonna drink everything but the purple liquids I see. Um, the potions do stack, so uh, if you can get access to a bunch of them, you may do so. Very helpful. Um, these guys, you can trap them if you want. If you want to uh, put a trap and deal with them, one time is also viable. Otherwise, you just have to be ready to interrupt their, their rift mark. So the first one I used, um, just a normal interrupt, counter shot. And then for the second one, I want to intimidate, but I was too slow there. But for the second one, you just want to tab and intimidate. I haven't actually uh, run a 5 mask on this character yet. I just revived it from the dead recently. Um, I've just unlocked 5 masks, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, should be super sad. I don't do a ton of damage, but I should do enough. Uh, these mastery hunters are pretty strong. Uh, I'm looking for a buff in here, so I am going to actually pull these mobs across the room. Uh, I'm going to deal with all of these at once. I believe in my pets, they can pull this in. Sure. There's not my weapon, I'm going to try to move up this repel here. Um, so I'm just going to ignore it and go get this chest. And when they stop and they're ready, I can finish them. Uh, we want to try and use our bloodthirsty to our advantage. Uh, it does do damage in that area, so you can stand up. is very annoying, uh, especially when you pull all three footmen. Um, I if, it's, if it's an actual problem for you, um, you can just uh, pull this in two separate pulls, uh, one then the other, and then you'll just be dealing with one and then two uh, in separate instances. You can interrupt whatever you want here. I should not have interrupted that. You know, he has a psychic screen. I'm going to feign death. Didn't do anything. <laughs> just a test. <laughs> Uh, good to know. I should have held my interim for the fear. I knew it was coming. But that's okay. Grab our quick 7% versatility buff. We're checking for a crystal here. Oh, I'm so slow. Uh, the worst thing about uh, this area for hunters is they don't really have a way to deal with that slowness, um, which is which sucks. Most classes, I would just cast whatever spell uh, 
has like no cooldown or cost until my slow time became I don't have a target. Uh, fast time. This is just based off casts. However, uh, not much I can do if I'm not in combat, it feels like. That's okay. I'm gonna eat a kebab once I get uh, right in front of this next area. I'm gonna pop the RP here. Over here. I'm to kill this corruption. with the gross on the ground. Um, they're like, you know, combat for a little while. So that was why I couldn't eat there. That's okay. As soon as it procs, we want to get going. Uh, I am quickly going to check if this door is open. It is. So I'm going to kill these mobs first. Pull these ones as well. Just fine. We do want to get them to stand on, uh, on the heart piercer. Uh, the way you get your pets to move around where you want them to go is just with kill command. Kill command will like cause them to instantly sprint over. I need to target something so first. If you want them to be somewhere, or like if they have aggro and you want to drag them around, uh, just kill kill command to whatever target you want to pull. Uh, so for this room, we're just sneaking past these mines. We step on this mine, it explodes. We get a nice 10% damage. Off. Very, very helpful. Uh, and that room's fun, especially with the fire foot week. Luckily, it's not this week, no. but um, it's like I like to pull my cooldowns for this. And when I say cooldowns, I really just mean beast or wrath. You should, can also pop Aspect of the Wild, and these are uh, strike chance as well. You don't want to be in a tropic leap, that takes sanity away from this. Uh, especially with the Daredevil mask. Percent. Just something to be aware of. I require a target. Always want to move a little purple there. This area can be down. Nice gift to the Titans brought there. Jump periodically to deal with the tunnel. So the potions stack up very nicely. Um, the first one's only five minutes, but if you drink another one, it goes up to 20 minutes. Uh, that's 15 minutes, and then after that, that's, I don't know how it scales after that, but I do know that you can quickly get to like 45 minutes or so. So that brought it up from two minutes to 17 minutes. Then. And maybe every additional one adds 15 minutes, I'm not sure. Purple is my bad potion. I'm wasting time in here. Uh, I do want to get out of here uh, more quickly than I am. There's lots of purple liquids around here. Uh, I'm going to pull these guys, and I'm going to try and pull this guy. I'm going to use kill command to send my pets over here. And then again to try and send them to this one. It's the uh, heart seekers that really hurt here if you are taking damage. I find they are usually the case. So I'm trying to get them down here and avoid this dark illusion if possible. It's an unfortunate couple seconds now, so I don't want to get out of here. I'm going to backtrack because um, there is a crystal spot I missed and there are some bombs I have to place. I use the crystal. Bomb one. Got one more I missed. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, place my bomb. I'm gonna pop the RP uh, detonator there, and then I am going to go check for a crystal uh, and a chest in the way I didn't go in the beginning with these two guys over here. A chest can spot here, a crystal can spot right here, so that's just what I'm checking for. That's okay. Um, there's a little, our little gnome friend will uh, will fight the good fight while we're not there. Oop, I don't want to stand in the poop. 
I'm gonna bring my pets to me. So this guy comes over to me. Oh, I should have procced this. I thought I already had, so don't mind me. There's this Taskmaster off there. Because yeah, if you pop that, uh, our little friend will go will go fight him for us. I'll grab the chest right after this. You can just click these bombs away if you don't want to do it. To be in range though, uh, that second one was great because I simply wasn't close enough. Keep that in mind. Oh, I accidentally clicked on him when I was trying to put the bomb away. That's okay. Another hit big thing that's not that bad. Here comes the boom. Move out of the way of the bombs. Uh, I did this very poorly. But that's okay. Fire comes. Uh, the bombs isn't that bad. Uh, my dark delusion hit me. I'll destroy the forge. I need to target sure something first. I'm gonna mount up. I shouldn't have mounted up. I'm gonna grab this chest. And I'm gonna grab this crystal. There we go. Now I'm gonna mount up. I don't like to use the portal here, I like to walk to the next area, even though I must uh, deal with this mob. I do still like to go this way. Oh, lucky gift of the tomatoes probably. What do you mean, Bring your pets with you. I manually click it, it is control 2, that is the natural keybinding. I click a couple things without feeling lazy. Uh, probably not a good habit to get into. Would not recommend. Uh, I don't really want to do that on this character. Uh, anyway, that's no excuse. It's far better to, to be using the, the key bindings and not look down. I'm gonna go right over to this guy because I don't like to be uh, over or below half sanity. Over here. We don't have to worry about blade flourish. We just have to watch for the uh, the, the big blast. I guess she's not doing it. Roaring Blast. Interesting. Well, normally she casts a Roaring Blast, which is a big blast coming in front of her. So she's gotta get out of bed like this. Oh, no, I just want to make sure things are sketchy. Need to target something first. Oh. Perfect figment. Perfect figments are very squishy, even on five masks. So, uh, it's more the threat of their appearance than their actual appearance that's scary, if that makes sense. Uh, I thought I could sneak through, but I'm bad. I have bad mechanics, so I couldn't. Now I know for next time. Well, that's a hundred sanity potion. I'm gonna save it. I am, however, gonna drink the red one. I'm gonna come back for the black one later. Assuming I remember. Uh, so for here, I was going to focus. Oh, that was bad. Focus the uh, informants. Because of this exact thing that's happening to me right now. Oh my goodness, I almost died. That's okay. I don't think I did. My sanity would be full. Um, I used uh, the exhilaration. That was very spooky. Uh, but yeah, that is the reason we target the infants. I do not want to eat um, the four second target this time. It's very unforgiving. As we just saw there. Yikers. A spiteful assault can hurt a bit, so we'll just interrupt that if there's a problem. My rotation is not very clean on this entry, which is also a poor form. Um, I'm looking for a crystal up there. I don't see one. I see a chest though, so I am going to do this building. Same thing, start with the informants. I do like to pop these to wrap. I like to pop these to wrap on most pulls. Uh, it's a very short way to shorten by 12 seconds every barb shot or constant barb shot. So uh, use that. I mean, not right before the boss, but maybe if you're like, <laughs> to kill, kill the last one before the boss. I can't attack that target. I'm probably going to pop it there, but otherwise, don't be afraid to, to pop it. It's already back off cooldown, so it's very short. This. Double check that there's no crystal up there. There's not. Triple check. Head on out of there. Uh, this is a good time to eat kebab. I don't like to b fall below 50, but it is not the end of the world. It's just that it's a lot scarier with um, 
that mean horrific figment popping out of nowhere. Um, I can send my pets over there. I can also walk under this one. If you can knock or split personality near the wall, you can sometimes get it to come over there. It's very, very cool. Oh, my pet is dead. Yikes. Poor pet. Poor dad. There's that touch of the abyss that we want to interrupt. Now we can go on any target we want. The spike plus salt also hurts a bit, so we can go up this guy in the shadow blade. It's personal preference after the form goes down. I like to go on the form there's an executioner, you go for that one. Because um, the executioners heal themselves up when they hit you. It's okay. Do this boss here real quick. Don't want to pull these, up, uh, these guys on the side. Just I can't use that either. They're cool. Appendage, we want to move out of. That wasn't fast enough. You can dodge them. Well. So the two places uh, the crystal can be spawned um, well, the remaining places. Uh, the first was in the bar we wanted to kill those extra pets. Uh, one can spawn here. One can spawn behind, like in uh, Matthias Shaw's area itself. And one can spawn in a corner down here. So I'm going to go check the corner down here uh, because I have three orbs. And so I, I can afford to target. use one before Shaw. I will also kill this mob if I see a, um, a box there. A chest can spawn there, but I do not, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to wait those up. I have a horrific figment spawning, but I'm just going to pull him over here. Um, no matter what you do, there's a stealth mob here um, hiding. Um, and that's where the crystal is, so you have to fight this mob anyway. So it's better to just accept it. Damage is enhanced in here by because uh, of the mother's upgrades. Oh, there's the crystal. I'm glad I came in here. Um, I trapped for a second. That's okay. Uh, so that means there's two crystals for area, per area. So um, I was just worried I wasn't going to get that one, and I didn't want to risk it just uh, showing up behind Shaw because um, there's no guarantee of that. I might die anyway. I just get, get ready to revive them. Um, I didn't kill the informant first here. Uh, it doesn't. The executioner just does a lot of damage. So. If you are ever at this uh, this position and you're wondering why she's not saying time. this. It's because you forgot to kill that first boss at the start. Uh, sometimes I won't kill him right away. Um, if I if I have full sanity, because I don't want to waste the plus 200 sanity I would get. I'm just going to stand by the as I can. Yes, check, it's more of a mechanic check. 
just strafing, keeping my sights away from the eyeballs moving out of this. Uh, if I have too many stacks and I can't move fast enough, uh, I can simply use disengage. Oops. I can simply use disengage to get out of there. Uh, I like to take the portal back here. Uh, if that didn't fill up your sanity and you still had like 90 to 100 sanity or more missing, uh, then I would eat a quick kebab here in the first area. It's the most forgiving on the sanity loss per second. So you always want to keep there in transition if possible. Uh, you have a choice to go left or right here. You can either do these guys now or later. I'm full sanity, so I'm going to do them now. Uh, you can stun the burrowing appendages to um, stop them from going underground. Um, or you can just stay in there and kill them. Or something. Have something, whatever. Uh, I think it actually has to be you, actually. I don't think you can just send your pets. I think it'll still burrow and pop you off. It's just a gray circle on the ground. If it hits you, it, uh, it slows you for a few seconds. Like, Too far away. Pretty significantly, so probably want to avoid that. Just looking for potions on the side here. I would like uh, to find a spicy potion if possible. Beggars can't be choosers, obviously. Always try and get the burrowing appendage down first. Uh, they're just annoying to deal with if they go there now. But it is unavoidable, they will sometimes, especially on the, the mob before around this corner. Fire a target. I don't have a target. I need to target something first. I interrupt it, but I let the whole cast go off first, and then I interrupt the channel, not the cast. And then I can bang death one of them as well. Maybe if uh, if you have better DPS, it's telling me I can't use uh, kill command. That's probably because I, I had convert on, him, which like treats me as an enemy. Anyway, that's okay. I'm checking for a crystal, checking for a useful potion. That is a useful potion. I don't want to get hit by my vision. There. I realize now I never went back for that black potion I said I was going to go back for later, I don't think. That's okay if I didn't. I can't use that item yet. You can pull this mob and this mob together. Uh, the mental assault can be a bit of damage though, so just be aware. I'm not running through the option. liquids quick and then I'll go deal with this boss. This is a nice plus of insanity. Beautiful. Right on to this boss. Just my melee jacket. Very strong. Uh, I have gifted the Titan so I'm gonna run into this because I won't lose any sanity. Proc 
back to the second one anyway. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Maybe if I had been faster. Because then you get the, the full the full chain of servitude cast to hit him. Neither here nor there. Uh, just stay away during chains of servitude. Um, it's especially spooky on fire week if you accidentally bounce towards him. So just be aware of that. But uh, that one is gated. Um, some things can cheese it. For example, uh, like paladins can divine shield and just like beat that man down. <laughs> so like, well, see you later. Um, so there's that. Keep that in mind. Uh, but it is pretty rare. You just have to deal with it. Um, Beast Mastery Hunters have the lovely privilege of just having their pets beat him down during Chains of Servitude, so that is very, very nice. And you can still pop Bestial Wrath as well while you're silenced during Chains of Servitude, so keep that in mind. Because yeah, large, <laughs> most of our damage is from pets, especially as you um, start to stack up uh, the, the crit. Was asking if I'm hosting my mythic night with the pug tomorrow, and I am indeed, and I will film it. So I'm hoping for that as well. Uh, off to the last area here. Let's deal with this guy quick. We got really lucky there. Nice gift to the Titans prong right at the end. I don't have a target. I was worried um, I would eat there, but I think I can eat up here instead. Um, and my sanity is in an okay place, I'm not too worried. I want to pop right over to these guys, try and bait them into the same spot. I thought I was close enough, but it's okay. Gonna pop Beast Shell Wrath here if my damage is, is okay. Um, not at the point where I can just like cheese mechanics with my eye level though, unfortunately. So, gotta, gotta pop when I need to. Um, even to kill trash, that's okay. Uh, Beast Shell Wrath is an exception to short cooldown, and even shorter when you're engaged in combat. So. Just trying to keep beast cleave up uh, with periodic multi shots when there's AoE trash like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill this guy because I just had a figment I can eat now. I'm going to throw a trap here in case someone comes through there. I'm going to jump back here and I'm going to eat, and hopefully I don't get interrupted. Feels good. That feels a little worse, but that's the way she goes. <laughs> Flying through here. Um, at this point, I can also make the choice. Uh, if I do not like where my sanity is, I can go straight onto this mini boss. Um, especially now with uh, Gift of the Titans. Very useful. So I will just go on the onto the mini boss here. I will go the alternate route, uh, into the middle. Change my order a bit. I don't have a target. I can't run through this, but my pet sure can. I don't really need to interrupt anything. I'm gonna put my trap there and try and run this thing through it. That's okay. Didn't. I got super lucky there with my uh, madness. I just happened to like cruise through the hole. <laughs> Feel a blast stay up for Yeah, these guys will stay up after the boss dies and will explode and take your sanity. So be careful for the explosions. Uh, I'm gonna backtrack instead of going a sketchy way. Uh, and that's because I want the plus 200 sanity from uh, the mini boss roaming uh, before I deal with that scary hallway. And you don't actually have to deal with the scary hallway. Um, but anyway, we'll 
avoid it completely. We'll get our 200 stand up back in a second. Just gotta pop it. Got this crystal on the way. These guys are weirdly tanky, the greater void elementals, especially on a five mask. Oh, that is a great proc for us to get. We're very feeling very blessed there. Oh, and again! Uh, I need to stand more still when I know that's coming. Uh, the reason I can do so much is give to the Titans right now. It's protecting me. I feel like I'm blessed by the light. I'm playing a Paladin Hunter. Focus these void speakers. Um, the second thing they do is they the scream, and uh, it's a little scary, especially if you come from uh, that hallway there that I was talking about. You can easily get feared out into that mini boss I just killed because uh, you won't have them down yet. If you come from that way. Just want to be aware of. From the hole, walk out of there. spot. I like to have a Sanity Orb um, for both this Mage Boss and Illyria. At the very least, I like to have one for Illyria. It's like almost a requirement. Um, yeah, you really want to be full uh, Sanity taking Illyria on, especially as a melee DPS. Hunter's a little easier, you can hit her a little more consistently, but um, very much like to take an orb uh, into, the, into the last couple bosses. Uh, I'm going to clear down here um, to get this chest. Sneak through here. Join me in the tower. Thank you. Come on, true masters of this world. I don't have a target. I'm gonna stun the burn appendage so I can't go underground for a second. Hopefully, I can burn it down. I require a target. That feels good. Um, there's one more thing I can check. I can kind of check it on the way up here, but I will have to jump down if I see it. Uh, a crystal can spawn there. I did chest can spawn there. Um, a crystal can also spawn in the hall I didn't go down. Um, that's okay. I think I can sneak through here, but I feel like I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> so. I'm gonna pull my pets up with me here because otherwise they're just going to fight him down there and I won't be able to cast any spells because line of sight. When I'm turning my camera randomly, it's because I'm trying to get placement. Uh, I am going to eat a uh, kebab here as a demonstration of how we're going to fight this lady if we have low sanity. And no orb if I didn't have an orb. Oh, the majesty of the void! So I feign a death that one to start, and then I hold polymorph, and then I interrupt it right at the end. Our pets will quickly go on this lady and break Frozen Storm. Easy peasy. You have to hold your interrupt for polymorph, unfortunately. Try and hold it until the very end of polymorph. I'm trapping this horrific figment because I just straight up don't want to deal with it. I let my stacks fall off. You can also turn and jump and that will clear your stacks and get you there a little faster. Interrupt polymorph. Uh, I guess my interrupt was still a cooldown. I thought I was hitting it. Feign death. Oh, I lost all my sanity. Bad form. Anyway, I should have feigned death faster there. I That's okay. Target. Deal with the horrific figment. That is why I like to have an orb there. But anyway, um, my own fault. I, I had avoidable sanity and I simply didn't avoid it. Luckily I have that nice mother's upgrade um, that gives me the one free revive. Grab this chest quick. I'm out of range. <laughs> The trap on the figment was okay, but um, I needed to feign death. And I also needed to get the interrupt off on that polymorph that I missed. It was a big tragedy, but that's my own fault. I'm pretty sure it wasn't on cooldown because I thought I was smashing it, but I could have just been simply pressing the wrong button. Anyway, grab this chest. 
Uh, I missed one crystal, that's okay. There are ten in total. I highly recommend uh, Handy Notes Horrific Vision add-on. Um, it's, it's very useful. And it will help you with all those things. The buffs, the potions, and the crystals, I believe. I'm super slowed right now, it's okay. Um, so I do have my ore for this, especially after I died on the last boss, whoopsie daisy. Um, I'm gonna pop this sanity orb, but I'm gonna wait until this RP finishes here. Give her a second. I like to go as close as possible, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's just a, a mainly DPS habit. Right away I pop onto Illyria, pop my cooldowns. I always try and keep this just Eye of Chaos simply behind me. Click these mean bombs away. Interrupt Polymorph. I want to move a little bit away for Dark Sky. You can still hit her a bit before Void Eruption goes off, but make sure you're behind a pull for Void Eruption. It's like a 300 sanity uh, loss or something like that, something devastating. Click these away. Uh, I'm only clicking the one away. Get the other one in time. My angle is a bit weird. It's okay. We have plenty of space here. Chains of servitude. We want to run away. The reason I tried to do, I did back-to-back -back barb shots there, was to get this uh, thrill of the hunt crit stacking buff. So if you can stand behind this, just make sure you're facing the eye of chaos and you're behind her, behind it relative to Illyria. Step back out. Get the eyes behind you. Just beat her down. Let Tainted Polymorph almost go off. You want to interrupt it right near the end. Um, the reason is if she's casting that, she's not casting other things. And that's harmless because we know we're going to interrupt it. Just going to move away. Uh, I don't like where that Eye of Chaos was. Took myself behind here. Turn away from the Eye. All I'm doing is facing away from the eye while hitting Lyria. Interrupt that right near the end. Click the mean bombs away. Oh, I misclicked that one. Uh, that just means I wasn't in range of that one. I'm finding the safe spot on the ground. I'm still keeping that. Even to the side like that counts as behind you. It's when you like face it is when it's actually a problem. But if you to the side, it won't actually hurt you. So, um, that's a 5 mask. Uh, 458 equipped. Um, hopefully you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, and concerns, please let me know. I'll answer them. Uh, any specific niche questions, uh, maybe anything I could have done better, uh, like maybe not died on that mage boss. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching. Bye.